This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Just, just wait. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter and the Beach View, Pittsburgh, PA Studios, Sorgatron Media Studios. We got a hell of a crew here tonight, all over the place. First from Poughkeepsie, New York. He's the only one on the roster here at the Wrestling Mayhem Show that has a future endeavor letter from the WWE Mad Mike. And I am also a fan of yachts. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! He's a yacht man everyone loves a yacht yacht sales are gonna skyrocket yachts, in the morning yachts yachts yachts, 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 yachts. everybody yachts. <laughs> also with us on the on the shared mic first we got chad the shad hello <laughs> <sighs> welcome to the show Chat to chat. <laughs> and welcome to the show. And also ringside Rob, fellow cameraman here. He's also going to say something about yachts. Yeah, something about, oh, he's still your <laughs> yacht thunder? <laughs> Sad face. Your yacht. Sad yeah. face. Took the wind right out of my, your sail. Ah! So <laughs> also with us, we got some special guests on the couch. First of all, oh, God, uh, it's Full Sail University, too. What's that? Oh, oh no. Oh, God, oh no. That's true. That's First true. of all, returning to the show, Jinx has joined us. Hello. Has watched the May Young Classic with us just yes. now. And we're going to get her expert reaction from it. I am an expert, yes. Yes, there you go. As a women's <laughs> wrestler here in the area and I... coming up on things like the Remix Pro. Yeah. So, and the International Wrestling Cartel. I know things <laughs> about wrestling sometimes. <laughs> and also, fresh off of stocking Dutters on an awesome cast in the background <laughs> is is our Patreon supporter, Billy Johnson, joining us on the show. I think the first time on the show, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you need to probably listen to Gold if, to understand what all the heavy breathing is about. Uh, but it's been really fun here tonight uh, on the live stream and everything. But anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can drop us a line to that email address. Good time! Good time! Ah, that's how I like it. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, 412-206-WMS0. You can subscribe to the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Google Play Podcast, Google Music Podcast, whatever they call it, uh, and also video versions on the YouTube and the Facebook page for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Live streams now all over the place. We're experimenting, getting on everything from our sort of trimedia Twitch to Periscope to uh, YouTube streams as, as well. But the main fun and chat room happens over at uh, at uh, uh, the Facebook page for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Please also join the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. Uh, thanks to our streaming partners, the 405media.com, who I question every week why they still have us on there, but they do carry us every night at midnight Eastern time, 9 p.m. Pacific time, so we can corrupt the youth all over the country. 405 Live. Uh, f- <laughs> and 405 Live? Left, uh, live-ish. Live-ish. Thank you to our, our, our Patreon supporters that make the world go round. Uh, including Billy Johnson here at the Pizza Club ten dollar level. Yeah. I personally gave him a state of the show last week since he's our p- only Pizza Club uh, uh, Patreon. So yeah. you you get you got a super personalized bit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that's just all you do during this show now. Just awkward just, one-liners just, just, with heavy breathing. Like who's who's that awkward guy you put next to the women's wrestler? Don't do that again. Uh, <laughs> don't you? We I, don't I, screen I, them. I, I might not be the I'm first one. I'm sure describes all of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's got it's got creepy um but anyway anyway <laughs> well at least you're not like in in, in 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 like a secluded basement anymore 
with a bunch of weird people. We're just a- exposed on the street. Uh, but yay, <laughs> yay, uh, phrasing, phrasing, exposed. phrasing, and there's a train Phrase. going by. Uh, but anyways, uh, thank you to our Patreon supporters: uh, Pocky Club level, Tina Keys, uh, Brandon Minot, and uh, Christopher Bishop, and at the fan of the show level, long time, longest uh, time uh, Patreon supporter, Bo Diggity. Woo! As well as Ed Burke. Alex Cars and Bobby F J Town. Oh, shouts to Alex Cars Occupy uh, Pro Wrestling Podcast. A very, very fun one. I know last week uh, that that he had with some burlesque uh, performers. Uh, happened something at the uh, Wrestle Factory recently. Um, really good conversation. Check it out. And um, and you can support the show too at patreoncom show. But you don't have to financially support us, although we do appreciate it. We do literally have to keep the lights on now that we have a for real studio. Uh, but uh, please share the show, comment wherever you're at, and just just help spread the Mayhem Nation. If you see us here on a Tuesday night on Facebook and you have that little wrestling uh, Facebook group that you belong to, I don't mean to demean other wrestling Facebook groups. I realize it sounded that way. But please share us and, and, and expose us phrasing uh to other people uh so uh we really do appreciate that okay first off off the bat um jinx so much thank you so much for joining us because yeah. i figured a bunch of dudes talking about the may young classic the last two weeks was probably not the best way to go about it. Uh, so at least we okay. got you for the finale yeah so of course if uh i guess spoiler alert in case you're catching it later for some reason um but may young classic live from las vegas tonight uh Kyrie sane and uh Shayna baszler um, am I saying that right? Is that her name? Yes. Okay. Baz. Okay. Basler. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I don't want to okay. say it wrong because I'll get I'll get punched in the face. You'll get yelled at. <laughs> by, the <internet. laughs> by the internet, exactly. Yes, because we never pissed off the internet before up on here. No. Uh, but anyways, but well, what did you think of that match? Of course, Kyrie saying coming away with the the the, the trophy. Yeah, that I, I think it was well deserved. I don't definitely. know if she can lift. It's a big trophy. <laughs> no, I respect that because I am in the same boat as her. Boats. Boats. Am I right? She's a yachtswoman. She's a yachtsman. But uh, no, very well deserved. Awesome. I'll definitely have to go back and watch it again. I have to go back and watch the whole thing again because it was all very good. But uh, yeah, definitely enjoyed it as a whole. Um, so so you know. This is the first time that we had this big of a stage, I think, for women's wrestling. Yeah. You, know, you know, of course, we've had main events on pay per views over the last couple of years and everything like that. What does that mean from your angle for kind of the level of women's wrestling these days? I think it's very important. It's especially because when I began getting into wrestling, it was on like the divas level where it was all just very like sexualized and kind of gross. And growing up, I absolutely hated women's wrestling. Mm-hmm. But so I kind of had to like get into that mindset of like it's not all just like viewing women as objects anymore and women are actually here to like work and do really great things in wrestling. So it's very awesome to see that and see that on the level that it's being put on now. Awesome. Awesome. Billy, Billy, what do you think of the uh, tonight's pro- uh, finale? I thought it was great. I was, I was I think it was one of the best matches of the tournament. Yeah. I mean they, they both they both put on you know their best moves and i mean it really could have went either way um definitely obviously you know Kyrie. i mean she out excuse me she got out of every move that Shayna had had put her in and uh but i i I enjoyed the whole tournament i I, the thing i liked about it was um there's 30 32 more women that got got more exposure to the fans around the world now though now let's see where they go with it for sure all of them have a bigger stage now, mm-hmm. whether they're under contract with WWE now or they get to go back to the indies, which they'll, I'm sure, all be very successful with now that they've had that platform. I know. I'm already seeing seeing like Tessa Blanchard popping up on a Absolutely. lot more things, and a lot of those girls are. So, and of course, there were a lot of performance center uh, girls involved. There too, were, so. which a lot of them I was very impressed with. Mm-hmm. I was a little bit concerned that they were going to be like, we need 32 women. Here you go. Mm-hmm. Like here's some women that kind of know wrestling. And that worries me because I feel that like, concerned me because well. like cruiserweight classic. You're like we grabbed all these, we cherry picked all yeah. these people, and this was like. Mm, but I was impressed with a years. lot of them. Mm-hmm. I mean, it sucked that a lot of them were. Oh no, I'm sorry, but oh, it sucked oh, that a lot of them were gap fillers. Mm-hmm. You could kind of tell that they were gap fillers, but yeah. 32 is a lot of freaking. People. Yeah, I, I know. Like Shirley Doe was here last week. Was like there was a girl in the first round that like put on a headlock wrong, and she's like. 
He's yeah. like, how did they get on TV? That so, makes me sad. Yeah, uh, Rob, I know yeah, you, you 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 binged like most of it today, didn't yeah, you? I it all. Yeah, you have the. I'm so hung up on the yacht thing. But, <laughs> it's so but, funny. But um, has has Lacey Evans been? I haven't been watching NXT a lot lately, but has she been featured on that quite a bit? I know she's been doing house shows. Yeah, because I saw her. Well, yeah, because I, I she's saw been her on. at the Youngstown show like about six months ago, where mm-hmm. I can't remember if she fought. It was either Nikki Cross or Asuka. And and it's yeah I don't think I'd seen her before then but I she's mean, very kind of, tall and it was kind of one of those nobody knows who she was but yeah. she got into it and you know and it went pretty well so That's it was kind of cool to go like oh I kind of know it's a good gimmick for her even as who well. that is yeah it, well, you, and, and, and it seems like such a silly gimmick but then you learn that yeah. she actually was in the Navy was it or Marines I she, oh she's a Marine it was like okay no no she can wear whatever the hell she wants to mm-hmm. uh, I think it also like everyone's like we've all seen a lot of the like murica gimmick like, yeah, yeah yeah but we haven't she does it on a different level than you've seen so it's very interesting to see it's a little captain america ish yeah a little bit of, rosie the riveter i was gonna yeah. say kind of like I, I thought it was straight out glow kind of, straight yeah glow. it is very glow. i like that wouldn't that be great like like uh, kind of what if we had like there's a southpaw wrestling ish thing happening what if we had like you know what we're gonna do a women's show but let's just do a full-on glow type show as like a weird spin. I could see old time wrestling doing that. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> You're like they, they practically. I mean, you know, things like Thunder Kitty and and, and yeah. Was, doesn't Kelly Klein do a beard? She does woman the bearded woman gimmick. Yeah, it's amazing. I <laughs> love it. Kelly's awesome. <laughs> Still need to get into that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, uh, Tina P- Piper and Evan, Tony Storm, Kaylee were Kaylee Ray were underneath the WWE UK banner with being in progress in ICW. That's cool. That could be interesting. Well, did you see that they're letting Cassius Ono go for the ICW title? There's something interesting because because um like all the UK WWE people are been doing a lot of the like again, yeah because so did groups. Jack Gallagher yeah right so I I think this leads into that kind of question mark of like maybe we'll have some of the Cindy <laughs> content like they're obviously ones that they're working with Shimmer was seeing a lot of but I think that's owned by Prazak who does. Evolve. Which yeah, I was going to say they went in with Evolve. Yeah, they're they're already working with that. So that's Paul Heyman's gimmick, right? Or they tried to give that to Paul Heyman. Hmm. Evolve. They tried to like let Paul Heyman oversee that, maybe. Really? I think for a little bit, or they tried to have him do something. Like with go down it. and supervise or something. Which like Which would that. be rad. So yeah, that's an uh, inter- isn't that an yes. interesting situation? So now, now maybe WWE's like these are the OVWs, right? Yeah. Now that NXT's kind of become this whole other thing. We still need things to feed into NXT because NXT is too kind of too big to experiment anymore. It's other than NXT house shows, which that's like different, you know? right? It, I mean, there was there was there was the tour shows, but then there's like the ones in armories in Florida that are yeah. probably indie shows, right? That's a different placement. Yeah, and, and you, you see a little bit more experimentation. Like, like those are like in, the ones in Florida are like the new new people. Right. Yeah, or maybe right. not so new, new, but kind of the hey, yeah. Maybe you got like like take him on the road. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe you got like Bobby Roode in a tag match or something. But everybody else is like the people you saw on Breaking Ground, right? Yeah, you know that that haven't really figured it out yet. Also, that's a very different. I don't know if people realize that where you go is the crowd is completely different mm-hmm. in indie wrestling. So going up to like New York City. That is like a million percent a different type of crowd than you'd get in mm. Florida. So I can also see them maybe experimenting a little bit with how people in different areas. So see, are. there, see, there's like regionally appeal kind of absolutely kind of situation. like depending on where you wrestle, it's such a different crowd. I was told in New York City, like depending on the block you're in, the crowd is different. I could believe that. Uh, Dave's asking. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much true. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So, so Dave's asking, like, so they make too much money from NXT to mess with it? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Like, we can't mess around and just throw crap out there. I mean, no, absolutely. How I'm much? Sure. How much, Mike? We've talked about this on Midweek War for so long, leading the takeover, and of course they proved us wrong. Uh, but how iffy has NXT been on a weekly basis lately? Like, nothing's been special. It's with very it, odd, right? Like, no. Yeah, it, it just they're in a weird Hello, transition Randy. period because so many people that they've brought in have been ready so quickly mm-hmm. that they've almost depleted the roster without yes. really filling all of those gaps. I don't think they prepared for the people that they let 
go. Right, right. But I think there's a little well, push I mean, and pull. There were people that were called up too early that I think right. yes. had they stayed like your Apollo Cruises. Dana Brooke. Ty Dillinger's maybe. Like, because like you look at those people on the main roster and they're not doing much. Yeah. For no reason. Mm-hmm. Like, you called it up for the initial pop of them coming up. Like, just for mm-hmm. the sake of... Yeah, just yeah. for the sake of that initial crowd yeah. reaction. And then it's like, okay, But I'm sorry, cool. bringing up uh, Perfect 10, Ty Dillinger, just to be the 10 spot in Royal Rumble, was worth it. That was pretty cool. That was okay. But I will... That didn't have to be his main roster. Like, like I know he came up afterwards, but yeah, he yeah. should have gone back down to NXT and dethroned Bobby Roode. I think he did for a show or two. Like, he went back down to NXT. He didn't do a lot, he, but... He did, but he should he should have gone back down long term instead of Definitely. coming up after. Uh, so it was like two Mania months later, or because something, right, yeah, because yeah. I mean, later, it was right apart after from Mania. apart from his match with AJ Styles tonight, what has he done on SmackDown? Exactly, yeah. but even something like that, I mean, uh, you know, good spot. Hopefully that that puts him into something. Uh, from the chat, first of all, baby, for everybody that's yelling at me on the podcast here later, uh, Gabe Sapolsky, not Prazak with Evolve and Shimmer. That's that's my bad. Um, <laughs> And there was something else. Uh, Lee Moore already brings up Street Profits. I don't know when in context, but probably for something interesting coming up there. And it's kind of an experimentation. What about boats? Um, it I is. I just but, I mean, it's there. like the eighth time we've seen Angela Dawkins try something. What's that? It's it's like the eighth time we've seen Angela Dawkins try something. So I'm yeah. not really sure, you know. And I'm sorry. Oh, that's who, gonna work out. I'm sorry, whoever texts me uh, that's been in Mike and Mike shot for a bit. We'll blur that later. Um, <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> mm, this is why you shouldn't message me during the show. Uh, anyways, uh, sorry. What were you saying, Mike? I was just I was saying that the street profits, like, um, it, it's it. They're still trying to make Angela Dawkins a thing somehow. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, well, the chat room, Bobby and Lee are, are are behind them. So, and I gotta say, it's the most interesting thing I've seen from Dawkins. Yeah, but he, but it's not because of Angelo Dawkins. It's because of the other guy whose name I okay. forget right now. But Angelo Dawkins has not really changed anything. Like he's still doing the stir of the pot thing, and I'm like, mm-hmm. no yeah. one knows what that means, man. It's no, like no, day one. No it. one knows what that means. Day one is H. Yes. That's what it means. Related note, I was getting notes in the chat room that apparently the Fashion Police were on 205 Live this evening. What? So, I don't know. I don't know last time they stepped on the scale, but I'm okay with this change. They're they, they, 205. They might be investigating a, a, the case of the missing kitty cat man. Daryl? <laughs> Wait, what? Daryl? The kitty cat man? Yeah. No. Lindsay uh, Dorado. Lindsay Dorado. Oh. That's... That cat. Also not a... Is not 205 a Live still within their jurisdiction? Hey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. Yeah, right, yeah. In case you were wondering. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. At least Thank they, you. they have juris- jurisdiction. Would you like to ask another question at the Comic Con? <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. The, the heavy breathing's for off air. Okay, anyways. I get um, nervous. I get scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we talked about two of my items, uh, May Young Classic and yachting, so that's a good thing. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, because uh, I, I, Mike, Mike, I apologize. Yeah. I apologize in advance. Oh, okay. Because I'm going to evoke a name that brings a lot of pain to you. Well, that 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 doesn't narrow it down. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> GFW had an announcement earlier this week. Oh my god! This hey, wait, is wait, 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 wait. Let me. Uh, we'll get to. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> just, just, just walk it off. Just walk it off. Take some Pepto. You're okay. all, right, all, right, all right. I'm good. I'm good. I know. I'm I know. Fine. You and Shirley don't need to have I'm your. Just think, I'm thinking of yachts. You're thinking, thinking of yachts. yachts. Thinking yachts. Just think about boating. Like just yes. Boats. Your starbursts. On boats, a yacht, boats, boats, boats. yachting, like a man, a yachtsman, a yachtsman. <laughs> you're in your happy place on the high seas. This is like some nice guided meditation. Yachting, you know, and we I feel do, good. And we do a mindfulness show, and this may be more soothing. I, this is weird. Um, maybe a little. Is my heavy breathing more soothing? And, and we were doing we were doing Munchkin quotes today, Breathe. so um, that's a whole different story. <laughs> 
so so sword what about what about that place oh yeah, yeah what DFW. about that place so there was an announcement earlier this, this this week from i believe from anthem sports technically <laughs> from smashing pumpkins from smash no no they're not part just, of it anymore just, right. just say it was from a fucking owl sword. from a fucking owl from so the fly by the, night album cover the court of owl spoke up this past week and announced <laughs> <laughs> Have I mentioned that? that it, I, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Bankruptcy Court of Owls. That oh. is officially, <laughs> oh, that that is officially what oh, we are stings. calling them from now on. The Bankruptcy Court of Owls. <laughs> bankruptcy Court of Owls. Uh, can you tell it I finished Gotham last week? Um, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Which, which, by the way, Mike, we got to have a conversation later about that one. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyways, no, they, that was, the point is that they announced earlier this week that they were go, um, going to launch a streaming service. It's going to be seven ninety nine. <laughs> 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 I can't even get it done. I can't use this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I watch so, it on the GFM app? Do they need... Yes. Do they need someone experienced in databasing wrestling? Because they can fuck right off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for oh. anybody new, Bad Mike was involved with the databasing of old footage that is now in, that is now being used for WWE Network. That's oh, then I you're going to have fun with Have this. we found your future endeavor? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. On a yacht? I mean, I have a future, I have a future endeavor letter. That's not that's not a joke. He already has that. I mean, it's more like a never gotten paid letter um, from from anybody I know that's worked with TNA. But uh, yeah, or whatever they are in these days. But uh, yeah, hey, you can get that future endeavor anthem owl check. You ever been paid by an owl, Mike? That could be a new experience for you. That's some Harry I mean, Potter shit. <laughs> I. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, we're going to find out it, the owl is just Sorg, a figurehead. Sorg, if, if I was getting paid by an owl, I would just question who is fronting the checks. Yeah. The owl. Who? 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 It's Gandalf. Who? That's who. who. Oh, my God. Uh, anyways. <laughs> you probably get free food from Hooters. Hey. I'm who? listening. Who? 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 have an owl. <laughs> it's funny because it's an owl. I I, I get free hooters. tickets to Hedwig and the Angry Inch because it, because it's also an owl. Is that I don't <laughs> know. Is that I, deep cuts? Anyways, they're doing a streaming yeah, service yeah. and under this GFW, and it's going to include uh, international promotions, you know, presumably things like AAA, who already stream live on Twitch. I don't know uh, things like that. You know, the whole global thing that they're doing. Um, Seven ninety nine, also including the old uh, uh, TNA uh, uh, catalog, which actually you dig in there. There's some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 I, I enjoyed uh, some TNA wrestling. It was the whole I, When I watched it, was... it on Fox Sports Net <laughs> at 3.30 in the afternoon. 13 years ago. And uh, I, I saw, I used to order the midweek pay-per-views. The year was 14-12. Because I would watch AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, and Christopher Daniel triple threat matches right, because they were really right. good. And the year was literally 14 Kurt 12. Angle and Samoa Joe. And, uh, and, Kurt and, Angle wasn't in it. And, and, <laughs> sword, no, no, no. Sword, wait, no, no, no this is way before. Like, God. Motor City Machine Guns. Yes. And yeah. The sword. Sword. In every turd, there's some unprocessed corn kernels in it. I'm not going to deny that. But. Seven ninety nine is still way too much, okay. especially when you can find legitimately everything on YouTube. On YouTube, yeah. Well, well, well wait for this. Though. Jinx has the bomb to drop on this one. Yeah. Uh, when I got here, I looked at my phone. My good friend Jordan just randomly messaged me, and he was like, "Did you see that TNA accident really accidentally released their entire library for free?" <laughs> <laughs> Like their entire pay per view library is streaming. I don't know if it's still streaming. I don't know if they fixed it, but fixed yeah, it. let me see. Because he sent me a picture and he was like on it, but he said it was going super duper slow. He said the DNA network is oh, up, but they God. accidentally made every video downloadable for free. Brilliant. Wow. He said he was doing a mass download of. <laughs> It, get like, it now, get it now, get it now. He sent me fire sale. He literally Boat sent me a picture of, of him downloading yeah. the old one night only, <laughs> but for free. And for free. And and share it on the bit warrants. Yeah. Uh, as if they're not already. The deep up there. web. The deep web. The deep dark web. It's deep. already somebody's already got it all. Yeah. As exactly. soon as that went up, someone's like, Oh, oh no, yeah. yeah. No, no. Today. You, 
You Today's should... a good day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, that's what I look for and mine, on the mine, deep mine, web. Mine, mine, yes. Mine, yes. DNA. It's like downloading the entire spiral of Mad Mike's sanity in one swoop. Hello, darkness. Uh, that that would take long. You have to yeah. watch looking for TNA. The, 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 the big, yeah. the, yeah. you will get a lot of different types of wrestling. The, yeah. the question would be though: Are more? I want Brian Kendrick the... versus Jack Gallagher on a pirate ship, and when you win, your opponent walks the plank. Sure I agree. On a yacht. <laughs> are there more Someone people watching this podcast now than d- downloading TNA uh, old tapes? I think there's definitely more people yes. watching this podcast than are paying for it. I'm definitely sure there are pe- there are more people watching this podcast than watch Impact. <laughs> um, there's um, Fact. and I completely messed his name up uh, last night, so I'll do it again. Jao, this guy's semi fanatics, man. Uh, GFW fixed it already, but still hot mess star from this platform with the best wrestling in the world. I'm using air quotes for that last part for that is for a his long quotes. Air quote. It's a, hey, it, 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 <laughs> you there's quoted a lot of them. every word in that. <laughs> It's yeah, one it's, long one. It's I, a lot of it's platform with the <laughs> best wrestling in the world. Like Matthews was promoting it on the trailer for it. Um, I mean, oh Josh no. Matthews should not be trusted about anything. <laughs> well, yeah, there's that too. Uh, man, I can't wait for that best of Pope. Um, anyways. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Sorg. <laughs> you know, remember when he tried to make Devon's sons his slaves? Hello, darkness, oh, no. my old friend. Oh, that was weird. I've come to Pepper's talk farm, with you remembers. Again. Something in my memory just fired off. I don't know. I, yeah. I feel like some repressed things are yeah, coming just... back from that, mm-hmm. and I'm very uncomfortable right now. Oh, man. Yeah, I apologize. Let, hold on, let, let's. Uh, I'll conjure up a better memory. Remember, remember Shark Boy, and they had a crab shack match with the Dudleys. Oh, God. That's oh, a, oh that no! Great. Oh no! That, that's a real thing. Crab that's on a, a pole match. That's it. The new podcast is TNA Anonymous. What? T Anonymous. T Anonymous. Yes, T Anonymous. T Anonymous. It, 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 it's how we cope with TNA and and the abusive relationship that Two we have with non-stop it. Nonstop Anonymous, led by Mad Mike and Shirley Doe, who, yes. who both did uh, ongoing and, and we, segments. We open up with with the quote with the clip from Mean Girls. Who here has been harassed by Global Force Wrestling? And everyone raises their hands. <laughs> I just Where want the everyone Claire to Lynch bake a cake buddy and be TNA happy. Touch you. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Two amazing quotes happen at the same what? time. <laughs> Show me. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Behind Jinx is the Shawn Michaels uh, stand-up. Show us on the Shawn Michaels or Show TNA Show us on touch the Shawn Michaels stand-up. Uh, <laughs> 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 Where has he show stopped you? Well, but yeah. if you're if you're going to show on the Shawn Michaels, you have to say, "I think it hurts because I saw impact," and you have to like do it in the Shawn Michaels. Or like, you say, "We're song. We're on Shawn Michaels. Yeah. Did they steal your smile?" <laughs> <laughs> No. He's only giving oh, us a smirk man. on that standee. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh god. So, so there's 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 that happening. Uh, <laughs> so, um, uh, uh, from that. So, uh, hold on, sorry, 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 I have go a ahead. question. Yes. For everyone. How much would you pay for the TNA library? <laughs> like, like for for access for for a month. I have How a lot of quarters in my car. So, like, realistically, or or Re- realistically, <laughs> realistically, no, realistically, realistically, <laughs> oh, you know, oh, no, no, wait a minute, can, can so I, their whole I, library. I, actually, there's there's a yeah, there, there's it. some details to to it that uh, I, I'm just recalling them from the article. Um, so there is a part of it that they are including like the TV shows. Kind of like how Ring of Honor does, like a week yeah. like a week later for the TV shows. So, Mike, I can finally watch GFW. You, you know what, Sorg? Um, I'm not going to harbor, um, harm your dream, but um, since I've stopped watching GFW, yes, my life has improved about 35 fold. I told you. I've been telling you this for years. Yeah, you look like you've lost I a know. few pounds. No, You're doing better. No, uh, You're eating. <laughs> I needed a good stopping point. I needed a good stopping point. Right. And just last year, this, this past year's slam anniversary was a very good stopping point. And I was just like, okay. So so, okay so okay. Let me let me rephrase this, Mike. I get to finally see friend of the show's DJZ DJZ's bah, 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 TV bah. matches. Bah, Thank bah, bah, you. Bah, bah. 
That's um, better. That's a lot uh, he hasn't that he hasn't been on that show in like a, a month or two. No, oh, well, they, they did a piece on him this week for the Triple Mania. Well, because and his he almost old, died. Yeah, and the the, the oh, okay. Because didn't he say he hadn't been on since like March or something? Like yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there okay. were tapings, and then he got injured, so that had not. But they do well about eight him. months of tapings, and you know. Yeah, that doesn't. Help. Yeah, they have people right. sit there for sixteen hours. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. So how much would I pay for? We have some from yeah. well, we have some from, from chats. Um, okay. Tina says four ninety nine at most. Dot dot dot. <laughs> well, I have J Town says uh, twelve cents. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Both about are reasonable. About three fifty. <laughs> three fifty. About three fifty. I would have them. I would. I would ask them. Want my money? What's up? Is there an option for them to pay us? Is there an option for them to pay us? That's that's what I said because I've already given them enough free press. At this point, I think they actually owe me four ninety five a month. Free press. Joao. I'm gonna think I say it different every time. He says he'd pay six ninety five, but I'm already paying for WWE Network and the Progress Wrestling on demand service, and I do the. And I'd go, I'd go for New Japan World first, and Flow Slam, and Powerbomb TV. Only, only then would I, would I sink to the GFW Network. When you've completed the entire catalog of all of those services, um, Ch- Chad, you gave that monster Jeff Jarrett three fifty. <laughs> <laughs> That damn Jeff Jarrett always shows up <laughs> and throws. I didn't ever realize. God damn it, I, Jeff Jarrett! I gave you three fifty. I never, month. I never really saw a thousand guitars. I never drew three fifty. Al, Alex did botch and I was starting to watch it. I don't think it was the reason that he shared it, but it was. I, I didn't get past the triple mania stuff, and I didn't realize that he was throwing tortillas into the crowd. At triple yes, mania. I saw that. In it is <sighs> that is pretty horrible. I or pretty I don't know wild. if it means something different down there, but I it, was told. About it, and when I was told he was throwing them, I mentally imagined like chips. Like he brought out like a bag of like Tostitos and started throwing them at the crowd. Like I didn't realize that they meant like soft tortillas. And the idea of them throwing tortilla chips was for some reason way funnier to me. <laughs> like just, but also, did he throw them like frisbees? Yeah, you can get some air with those. Yeah, Are they like it's kind of fun burrito boomerangs. Burrito rings. <laughs> yeah, is that what the, this thing come back to him? That would be fun. Be I don't fun. know what I'm talking about. No, I don't know what you're talking about either. Arriba! <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn Jeff Jarrett. See what happens. <laughs> he derails our show. <laughs> oh, no. God damn it, Jeff Jarrett. On yeah. that note, since we're talking about food, technically. Uh, <laughs> Uh-huh. It's eleven thirty at night, Wait, and before, that boy ain't right. Before Just, before I get to that, uh, uh, Tina is saying that Jeff Jarrett. Tina is saying how they're desperate for followers. GFW follow, follows her, and and Mike reminds us that you've been blocked by 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 GFW previously. Twitter is Jeremy yep. Borash still talk with you on Twitter? Is he? Have you pissed him off? Because he seems like he's such a nice guy. With, I think he's talked with me through. My personal account and through the Mayhem Show account. That's good. But I don't think they've made the connection that I'm the one that who was live tweeting from okay. the Mayhem Show. Okay. So Otherwise, they, just, they would have blocked us too. So they just think we're all assholes. Um. I well, I know, I know Bruce Pritchard knows and and told you to fuck off. Uh. So there's that. And well, on, that, that's he was coerced. He was coerced. He was coerced. <laughs> yes. He was coerced. <laughs> if Bruce Pritchard five bucks and put him on camera, he'll tell anybody to fuck off, right? Basically, that's kind of what happened. <laughs> you don't even have to do that much for Jim Cornette. Uh, Noah has some <laughs> classics. Uh, mentally, I had uh, Jeff as Rip Taylor with chips as confetti. I know. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah, there you go. Uh, Show's over. <laughs> <laughs> if you book go them, home. they will come. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, that took a turn. Thank you for brightening that up a little bit. It was getting depressing. Uh, they've been bringing superstars from AAA and have uh, having them wrestle. Yeah, and that's the thing that's where'd my shot go? There I am. I uh, the show disappeared. Uh, but uh, no, that's the thing that's made me interested in GFW because they are doing this. Oh, here's this AAA thing, and and all my favorite Lucha Underground people are doing things. They're not taping things, so I'm really worried. So I'll see some Johnny Mundo uh, and Drago and stuff. And um... <laughs> anyways, but that's what that's what kind of worries me about that Sork. Mm-hmm. Because it means they don't have an actual roster. Now, now is this like 
I think you can see it on the network too. It's a the what is it, those super cards or whatever they were from like about eighty seven, eighty eight, where mm. like everybody that was rock and left wrestle was ha- well, no, because I think that was actually was that AWA, but but it was like all these organizations get together and put on a super card, which was just kind of a front for everybody to try to poach each other's <laughs> talent. <laughs> because Good. because fine. territories. Yeah, it was yeah, it was something like that where it's like, hey, we're all going to band together, but it ended up just being the more closest thing to and, human trafficking yeah. that's legal. <laughs> Which really, I mean, pro Just wrestling in general. Pro wrestling right? I mean, is basically yeah. human trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> pro wrestling Jinx is twenty seventeen. Oh my god, pro wrestling we'll bring you up is state for a couple Pokemon. shows. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was that, man, Mike? Pro wrestling is real life Pokemon. That's true. Well, you kind of got to collect them all, and, and WWE's collecting most of them. Oh my god, Roman Reigns used spear. It's not very effective. Tina says AWA Super Clash uh, might be what you're thinking of. Was, or wow. It was like Super Clash three or something like that. It was like okay. a later. But it was know. like like it was to the point where like there was multiple promotions like like doing title matches on that show, right? Or something. Is, like, is and it I think the there one? was some sort of chicanery going on to like oh. you know Lawler not wanting to drop whatever. Oh. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I heard about that yeah. one. There is if you and it, like if you go, I think it is AWA where it's just like there's a couple of television shows and it's just listed under the TV and and, and vault stuff. And then there's like, oh wait, what is this giant ball field show that's in this collection? Mm-hmm. Right? Perfect. Uh, yeah, it's just like what? Uh, and you start watching and you're like, oh wow, Scott Hall with a mustache. Uh, <laughs> and you know, you've yeah. always dug up gold if you find Scott Hall with a mustache on your WWE network. Fair enough. Fair enough. That was, Sork, that was Sork, Scotty that Hallway. Is, that is big Scott Hall. What a big Scott Hall? That what, big, what's that? that big Scott Hall. You need to that address was, him properly. That was Scotty Hallway. Scotty his, Hallway? His cousin. <laughs> his cousin. <laughs> his evil twin. His less Cuban evil twin. Um, <laughs> he was the nice guy. <laughs> The really not so bad once you get to know him guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. Friendo. Um, yeah. But anyways, I, <laughs> there's a really bad story about Jeff Jarrett. I'll leave in the chat for you guys to read. Um, but anyways, uh, back to food. Uh, thank you to our friends at Slice on Broadway uh, who've been uh, supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the Perfect Pepperoni Pizza for a good while now. Uh, feeding these fine folks hanging out here late at night. Look at them. They're so energized. Yeah. I like bloating. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to our friends, Slice on Broadway, man. right here in Beachview She's up the street. It's Carnegie PA on Main Street, uh, as well as PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, thanks for supporting the show. Please let them know the Mayhem Show sent you. Don't kick the door down. See, people have suggested that lately, and I'm really afraid somebody's going to do that. Um, Just walk but, in and tell them Mayhem no, sent you. No. They, they have posted hours of operation. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And they're very nice people. And we talk wrestling with them. You can very them. carefully open yes, the door. Very carefully Maybe open knock. the door. Or open it hello. and then softly kick it. Tell them I'm here to eat pizza and podcasts, and I've already recorded my podcast. (laughs) (laughs) You know it's pretty damn good pizza when you pull up to pick up the pizza, and they bring it to the car, practically to the car to you. They might know who we are. (laughs) Maybe they were scared you would kick down the door. Will they deliver to my boat in the marina? Well, That's a good question. Will they deliver on, on to Uber my Uber Eats, yes. <laughs> if Uber Eats will reach you, yes. Fair and enough. we've been doing some amazing yes. things. So, anyways, uh, we'll be back after this with a big question. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Oh, boy. Breaking rules. Breaking rules. Uh, We are back. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, at Sorgatron here. We're in uh, Pittsburgh, PA. We got got cameraman Rob. We're excited Rob hanging out here. We got Chad the Shad talking to us about petrified signed pizza from 10 years ago at Super Indy. It's going to be worth something someday. 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 Will it, though? Actually, probably it It is a priceless piece. (laughs) There you go. It's priceless for one reason or another. Do you say it was signed by Sweeney or is this the one signed by Flexor? No, it it was signed by Chest Flexor. Even better. The one and only Chest Flexor. Chest Flexor. Not the tournament winner. The guy that was working the staff. I I actually... Sweeney, the one... that. I, yeah, yeah, I bought cool. Larry Sweeney a drink right after. Oh, good. So like, That's priceless. There you go. While yeah. he was bleeding, yeah. So he came over with the belt. Was like, thanks, man. Boom. Glug. There you go. Uh, like, but cool. Billy, 
Billy Johnson's joining <laughs> us as well. Patreon supporter, thank you so much. And Jinx, of course, still with us. <laughs> what is it? What is this spirit's creepy spirit fingers? <laughs> These aren't sparky fingers. <laughs> These are sparky fingers. <laughs> and Mad Mike up there in Poughkeepsie, New York, <laughs> wondering why he's there. Uh, by the way, Jinx likes boats. I do Did like. You know I'm that? a yachtsman. Have you heard? I like boats. In case you were wondering. Oh boy, we got a big question. Um, if you watch no SmackDown, can deny. <laughs> if you watch SmackDown tonight, uh, you know that uh, Vince McMahon was uh, involved and got a pretty gnarly headbutt. Uh, so that that was cool. Um, he bleeds good for a seventy year old, I guess. But uh, which which uh, Mike, you you had a question to follow that up with? Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, we know the McMahons have been a part of the WWF and WWE since forever. So, um, what is your favorite segment involving a McMahon? Hmm. It I believe was me, I, Austin. <laughs> I actually have a really good story about that. <laughs> oh, 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 Jinx, 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 actually... Do you want to hear the impression first before the story? Yes. It was me, Austin. It was me the whole time. I love it. Yes. It's, I love good Vince McMahon impressions. That's my favorite thing. But uh, I'm like so accustomed to making wrestling references now in my life that I forget that I come from a family that has no idea anything about wrestling at all. So there was a point where it was like two in the morning and I was downstairs raiding my fridge and you just hear my dad upstairs and you just like, is that you? And I was just like screamed, it was me, Austin. And he thought that I was having a stroke because he has no idea what that means. He's like, no, really, was it you? <laughs> like, he, I'm pretty Austin, sure no. he thought that I was having a stroke because he was like, is that you? It was me, Austin. <laughs> While I'm like downstairs eating leftover Olive Garden. Like, I did it for the rock. <laughs> I did it for the people. I did it for the breadsticks. Yes. <laughs> I always go up to my dad and like give him like work stomps and super kicks, and he just kind of stands there, really scared and confused because he doesn't know what's happening. My, my family my knows favorite, nothing about. My wrestling. favorite is anybody's ordering pizza. They're like, "So what does everybody want?" <laughs> <laughs> like, what does everybody want? <laughs> I don't think you can get that on a pizza. He was my no. favorite rocker. <laughs> he was your favorite rocker. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> um, so uh, big question. Big question, <laughs> Billy, Billy. What's your favorite McMahon moment? Um, I, I guess I'd I'd have to go with the one where um, Triple H and Stephanie went to the drive-through wedding in Vegas, where oh, yeah. Stephanie Stephanie's passed <laughs> out, and it's in the middle of the, the supposedly the test and and Stephanie wedding. I thought that was pretty good. Shout out to Tess. I love I, the test came out for his own wedding and to his entrance music. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's where you get the, the classic snarling Stephanie McMahon scream. Yeah. Have you guys ever watched that they the always episode use of in the Fear video. Factor? Yes. 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 They were yeah. on? Hmm? Have no. you guys ever watched the episode of Fear Factor they were on? It was Test, Matt and Jeff Hardy, Lita, Molly Holly, and Jacqueline. I don't remember. I think it was wow. when it was. What, probably when it was on, I had watched it. but It's on Netflix or Hulu. If anyone wants to go search for it, it it it, it might even be on YouTube, but nice. it it's is probably on YouTube. Somewhere. It is the most golden thing you will ever watch in your entire life. There was like a weakest link they all did too. Yes, I specifically did remember. Did it oh, yeah. Kane win? They did a couple weakest links. Like I all those Kane shitty won. shows that were on for like two years, all had like a WWE. And and the weakest link. And is if objective. you if you watch those weakest link shows, Booker T is an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, I'm not uh, when I met him, he was vaping. Yeah. Just in case anyone wanted to know. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, Booker? Yeah, Booker was vaping. I, when I met him, he was really fascinated about all the hills coming out to Meadville. Yes, yeah, I, that too. But then again, he is from Houston. Houston, that Houston. Def- Houston. Houston. Who? 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 But no, he was super nice though. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, he was awesome. Yeah, when I when I was working ringside at that night of superstars, you know, like he was kind of the what enforcer or whatever it was. Yeah. And he's uh 
you know, of course, he did kind of the run in towards the end. Well, kind of, to, you know, the stopping. The, like Loki. Yeah, you know, the thing where where it's like he's out there and he's standing by me. He's like, yeah, you got a baby. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm right behind you. You know, something like, <laughs> like you know, get the hell out of my way. Kind of, I love you know. That. So like, and then I'm right it. behind you. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to run it. <laughs> I mean, he's giving you like he's giving the cameraman signals uh, uh, out there as a child did you ever think that you would as an adult be standing by a ring with booker t coming up behind you giving you the iggy to move yeah just help me yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was nice Wait. about it too he just kind of yeah, yeah. But, but just the iggy pardon me sir oh, you never heard that term? no no Sorry. i don't know the iggy again i'm so carny that i don't even realize that i need to those terms <laughs> it's what you do it's like a hand squeeze or something to let oh, the person okay. know that something's about to happen oh okay i just i don't even know when i'm using wrestling terms anymore i said that someone went over in a movie the other day (laughs) (laughs) i think jericho wrote about that in one of his books like i'm really glad that the you know the the the, the faces went over at the end of you know fast and furious yeah exactly (laughs) I've, i've said like look at those guys like this i understand this guy's gimmick I say gimmick so much in a movie or something. Well, this guy's gimmick. What he does is yeah. There's certain like I I think, and I think like like sometimes like wrestling fans do that in general and just like what the hell. But it's just like no, we've been kind of around long enough and read all the books. Yeah. We're all carnies. Heard, heard all the interviews, even as like, fans. This this hero and, man, he's really getting buried by these other guys. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> so now he gets a hope spot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who went over at the end of Paranormal Activity, guys? Who went over? (laughs) Did the ghosts go over in Paranormal Activity? Who got got the rub? Who's got a schmaz ending? You never really, the camera didn't really catch it. I hate movies with a dusty finish. Yeah, Yeah, right? (laughs) (laughs) I miss he really wants us to get back to the big question, guys. Who who else has a Vince moment? I've uh, I've got one. This is one. Well, you said, well, was it Vince specifically? I, or I said McMahon moment. Any oh, favorite McMahon, McMahon moment? Okay, because okay. this is one thing where I don't remember. Oh, closer, yeah, closer, sorry. not further. No. Okay, where I don't remember. It, it heavily involved him. I don't remember if he was there, but it definitely involved a McMahon. Um, I always enjoy segments when they have people on, like lawyers or cops or somebody like acting in no way like you know their profession would be right. So my favorite segment involves, uh, you know, this one involved a lawyer. <laughs> and they were wait, trying wait, quotes lawyer Law- like a lawyer barrier. you know it might have been well it wasn't it wasn't Chiamp- Chiampa that was that was an undertaker one um there, there was, what, a, was a lawyer but, well, yeah, yeah yeah he was, yeah, he he was a lawyer out, one time it was during the whole yeah, Muhammad Hassan thing oh and, uh, that's yeah. scary so he's like got hair and no beard but but um so it'd be that interesting to go back and watch this to see if this this guy was anybody but at the time there was a an issue of paternity and oh. wait wait which time the, the time well well apparently well oh yeah i guess this this has happened a couple times huh but but the lawyer as lawyers do was just dropping cryptic clues rather than coming out and saying you know and he says something like the you know the love child bastard child whatever has blonde hair and it's oh kennedy. no that's yeah oh. and it was down what was it? it was kennedy sandman and like hornswoggle and they were all like in the ring weren't they yeah and they were all in so they were basically playing what's, what's i'm trying to remember the name of the game but it's you know who's your daddy no uh <laughs> i know what you're talking where you like eliminate the yeah where it's you know until it's kind of a last yeah. man standing sort of thing so yeah, well, guess yeah who? like guess who where it was a lawyer <laughs> doing this guess who lawyer edition yeah and then and then it ended up being foreign swaggle as the bastard son i just, pu- I I just pulled up the clip that the, 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 he doesn't look familiar oh. yeah but a lot of the time yeah when you go oh, god that had to be what <clears throat> 10 years yeah 10 years oh this is rough okay yeah. Uh, yeah. Kennedy from... right, originally pegged to be yeah it was kennedy guy. yeah he was supposed means... to and then he got busted i yeah. mean his name was kennedy so yeah. um from the chat room from the chat room, and by Keith Hot, who who was in that match, says, says Booker T was such an awesome dude. He was cool. So Keith Keith Hot, who has who has had matches with Booker T and and Ricky Steamboat as enforcers. So, um, Brandon Brandon uh, says this has all three. I like I like that when Vince was presenting an award to Stephanie, and before Stephanie started to talk, uh, the music for Shane came on, and everybody's jaw dropped. Uh, which time? Oh, that was probably when Shane returned. <laughs> That's the when he returned. Most recent time, she got he got like the yeah. the the Vincent the the, the Vincent uh, Senior Award or something, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, 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 yeah. T- uh, Triple Some H. Bullshit Tina like says Triple H and Stephanie were renewing, renewing their vol- their vows and saw <laughs> Demon, Demon spawn Stephanie when Triple H found out her plan. Um, John. Uh, the aftermath of Cena Punk uh, match at Money in the Bank is Sparrow McMahon's uh, face when Del Rio fails to cash in and he sees uh, Punk take off with his belt. Just awesome. Uh, where to Stephanie from Keith Hot? <laughs> what is the <laughs> movie? Why to Stephanie? Where to? I know. Why am I giving a accent? Um, yes. Tina says Spirit Squad McMahon's having a pile of shit dumped on them just to be different. Uh, that is a good. I'm number. shocked no one has mentioned mine yet. What is it? What is I it? You you do yours and um, I'll do mine. My mine is Shane training Vince for the Royal Rumble. And Vince screaming, I hate Austin! I hate Austin! Doing, like, sit-ups and then chasing a motherfucking chicken. Oh, that's <laughs> right. They did that. <laughs> they did that. Oh. Wow. Did that I was another like, thing they, I kind of they repressed. They literally just did the Rocky training montage with an extra part in it. Like, because Vince even chugged the, the egg yolks. Yeah, he did. He was punching meat. He just everything and every time he exerted effort he just screamed i hate austin i mean <laughs> it was the greatest wwe has never been really shy about their parodies uh if you watch most of the 80s uh, billy you, you said one too, or right? anything yeah, that, uh, okay, the fashion police has done yeah, in yeah, yeah that's, too. that's too that, that's true too fuji, iconic fuji vice um anyways yes. um yes missy you need a microphone Bobby actually has the same one that I have, and you didn't mention his. Oh, I missed it. Sorry. So, uh, Vincent Austin at the hospital with the bedpan. Oh, yes. Was that, uh, is he the one that said Bertha Sh- uh, uh, Sacco? Mr. Sacco. Oh, no. Dave said Bertha no, that was Sacco. Dave, yeah. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Wheel says DX with the cock jokes. Good. Hey. Remember when they sold, they sold a t-shirt, a DX t-shirt with a chicken on it for the longest time after that. Yes. They said, I love cocks. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Like children I, bought I that. I feel guys. like children bought that. And this was yeah. like born again, Sean. Yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah. It was. No, no, no. Whenever <laughs> they, they also think... they also sold a DX shirt that said "World's Largest Member," and then they showed the child <laughs> version of that shirt that said "World's Smallest Member." Oh my god! <laughs> That's yeah. a real thing. Yeah, wrestling guys. So it mine. Was... I have. I have two. I have an honorable mention. Okay. The one that makes takes the cake. Uh the one my honorable mention is when uh, Vince was booking uh, God in matches, oh, and they went, they went to the church, and Shane just Shane just kept losing his losing his shit in the church because Vince was just saying stuff and didn't know what the holy water was. And Vince oh no, like, oh. he did the Triple oh, H, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Sh- Shane's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my and that god. was like real. That that's was my, very that's my real. Honorable mention, and of course, Which, I mean, that's like. Really, kind of, I think how Vince thinks about it. So. He booked him. He had a spotlight. Bring him and, down in the ring for a yeah, tag match. Yeah. That so. was okay. And you know what? That's, That's not favorite. the worst yeah. thing Vince has done on camera. No, no. But my all-time favorite McMahon thing is is a storyline that will never be finished. And I've said it before. When he blew up oh. in the limousine. Oh, that was my. That's my favorite Vince wow. McMahon moment, and I will never yeah. see an ending to it or where they were going with it, what they were gonna do because. Uh, where's the where's the tell all on that? Wait, 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 wait. No. Did Bruce, did Bruce Pritchard uh get fired before or after that? Because it might be on his podcast sooner or later. I do not know. That's a good question. I don't know where they were going. Like it was compelling all the way up, and they actually blew him up. Like in the story that they were gonna kill Vince McMahon or kill and he yeah, was yeah, come yeah. back later. And that's or the last like that, time but... that's the last time somebody died on TV for wrestling. But Until yeah, Lucha Underground. Curious, like, yeah. Uh, who, who Paul Bearer. Whose fault was Paul Bearer be? died on TV, Sorg. Was it after? <gasps> was it after? That was on pay per view. That was after. <laughs> Paul Bearer got, got uh, the Concrete Crypt match. Yeah, but that, that was sad. They walked that back a little bit, too. That made me uncomfortable. No, they did not. They was, No, they did not. That was his last appearance. Okay, WWE Parents website walked that back a little bit. So, okay. I was just going to say, there was a statement on it. Was that his like last appearance at, before he, like, shoot, died? I believe was, so. Well, I mean, it was it happened it was years. several years before that, but he yeah. never really came back on, did he? I don't think so. It's, oh, yeah, because they yeah. killed him. He couldn't. Then again, it's Paul Bearer. I mean, they've gotten over. They, they've gotten around things like that before in the past. Many times. Yeah. 
But yeah, with the Vince limo thing, it wasn't like the next, well, the next it week. Was, it was that episode of Raw, and then Benoit happened, and then he had the, to the come Benoit back. tribute Raw. There, yeah, you know, he basically came out and was like, "Y'all, I'm not dead." Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, uh, Sam. It's like sometimes the real world kind of interferes with. The wrestling world. Wrestling's fake? Yeah. And then... Oh, like, shit. Yeah. Damn real world. And it's we're never a... seeing that episode of Raw ever again. It's been a really weird couple of years for you, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what's a concrete crypt as well as the freezer, too? The freezer? They put him... Oh, they did... They, like, oh. Edge put him in a freezer or something when he was, like, trying to get something Edge out of him, wasn't him down the steps, too. Oh, he did push him down oh, the so that, that would have been after the crypt thing, because... Was it? Because the crypt thing was with the Dudleys, right? Yeah. And that yeah, they went away yeah, in like okay. 2005, 2006, something like that. Um, it was like right after One Night Stand yeah. that, that first yeah. year. Edge pushed Edge pushed him down the steps with his feud with Undertaker. Taped no, he was shooting with Kane. <clears throat> yeah. He was shooting with Kane. People yeah. always die when Kane That would have been 09 or 10 or so. I suppose getting shoved down the steps, too. People always <laughs> die when Kane's involved. All right. And now they just show up at his, at his rallies. Yeah, that's true. Wait, wait, wait. That reminds me. I need to share this. <laughs> I, I shared something on the group the other day, and I have to get this right. Um, but we know we've been following, uh, definitely following the Glenn Jacobs uh, campaign. I think most of us would, would uh, uh, can, we give, can we give some kind of donation in the name of Wrestling Name Show? Is that legal? Like. Probably. <laughs> Just Only as- if we send it to a super pack, Sorg. We send it to a super pack. So, no, he posted an event, and I think this is it's a picture of Kane from Archer's Barbecue. Um, Big Showberfest. What? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, All right. And there's a picture here. And, Explain. Uh, the Pavilion at Hunter Valley Farm. Food and fun for everyone. Special guest WWE's Big Show, <laughs> October 5th in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, I am uh, officially interested in this event. Yeah, uh, it's a. I believe, yeah, it's a. Um, and Jacobs for Mayor presents. Uh, so this is a, a. This is my big old tag team buddy. Um, man, only forty four people going, but four hundred and ten are interested. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to. I I actually can't. I, I met Big Show when I worked on a Nickelodeon show. Like, yeah. So Wait, that, what? This <laughs> his hands truly are like skillets. <laughs> I did. Well, I had my Comic Con moment when I asked Dean Kane what it was like working with Big Show yeah. uh, a couple of years ago. And do, so. and do you remember who's who's that mayor around here? That's like a really big guy. It's a dude. I can't. Re- no. Oh, no, it's like fit like a physically large. Uh, Br- in, in Braddock, right, Fetterman? I think so. Yeah, he was he was show's stand in for that what? episode. What? So what? So it's That's like amazing. But it was this Nickelodeon show called Super Ninjas. I think was immediately canceled after <laughs> after filming their second season Fun. in Pittsburgh. Was it about super ninjas? A bunch I, of white kids doing martial arts, I'm sure. Uh, but what, what what's that? What, what story? She, she's the only one that hasn't went yet. Jinx hasn't. Went. Oh no! No, she was I the said first my, one. It was me. She was, oh, she was oh, the. Me. It was me, and then oh, yeah. and then yeah, something yeah, yeah. about stomping her dad. Yeah. I, I, I was, yeah. I was I was dreaming about boats. I couldn't help it. <laughs> As you do. What's that? Hey. Hey. So, um, but no, no. So, so, so the Jacobs, the Jacobs, um, thing is is going on. Um, I love that. So we're all going to take a field trip to Knoxville, Tennessee, all, in a couple weeks. That would weeks. be awesome. I'd love to. <laughs> but anyways, um, on that note, guys, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I uh, Kyrie Sane really likes yeah. boats. <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> I learned about my love of yachting. Jeez. <laughs> I, I like that the fact that the only person that's allowed to bleed on TV is Vince McMahon. It's true. He takes it the hard way, didn't we? What, what were we saying? Like, like, and he was yelling at him. It, it, like, we're pretty sure he was saying, "Hit me for like real." Me yes. He just just hit me and in hit the him face. right between Make the me eyes. Bleed. Damn, hit me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> He's I, gonna bleed. Come on, you fat bastard! Hit me! Jeez, I you know I'm I'm he's he hits him and I'm just thinking as he's laying there I'm just like Kevin Owens is either just fired tomorrow or he is the next John Cena after something like that, <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, well we know he's Canadian. It'd be great if Owens came out with like a, a dark version of that theme. 
There, have you heard it? It said thing exists. Well, you know, what? like it went when Cena or yeah, have you ever seen like when when a celebrity dies or something like John Ritter? Yeah, you know, when he died, like was it fifteen years ago? On like Entertainment Tonight, they were playing like a slowed down piano version of the Three's Company theme. You know, <laughs> that's be something like, that. do, 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 do. <laughs> like sad organ <laughs> version. Oh, do, no. do, 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 like We've been waiting for you. He, he, he's already oh, hired. He, he's he's isn't already that hired. A, what Remy was doing with their theme song on the piano. Yes. <laughs> He already hired Aiden English for his uh, theme song for his new show. Yeah, that was great. That was pretty great. Uh, Billy, what'd you learn? I just told you. No, that's right. You started, didn't you? Jinx, what'd you learn? <laughs> I uh, I learned a lot about yachts this week. Okay. Um. Ooh, come back to me. I think I have. Oh no, I learned about how much I love Braun Strowman. What a man. <laughs> also, the fact that that scene when they just zoom in on Brock Lesnar's face after he just gets up from the German. I want that on my grave when I die. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. It makes me so happy. Your dad is really people are people are just gonna expect you to pop up whenever they visit your (laughs) grave then though. Yeah. People will smile when they come to my grave. One way or another right animated gif of that's my favorite gif of all time. And he just stands right back up. Uh, Did you chat. see that drop kick he gave? He literally just had to like sort of bring his feet off the ground and that was a drop kick. He didn't have to jump whatsoever. <laughs> it's like he rotated midair. Chad, what's your what's your, what's your learn this week? I learned that these WWF WWE not F. WWE officials need to get their shit together. Cuz uh, they're calling they're calling matches. Oh my god. Loose. Yeah. I, I don't know. Braun Strowman can use the steps a couple times. And Jimmy get... Corderas would never let this happen. He, he, when did they call a DQ? What's excessive force? What's allowed? What's disallowed? I'm Where's little Nate right in all of this? Yeah, I, I am. Yeah. They need to tighten up their ship here. I don't know Jeez. if they're using NXT call up refs or what's going on here, but. Uh, well, I'm then during to, that, I'm starting Sane to and misinterpret the rules. I feel like Phil Belichick over here. <laughs> what a cheat because I. I misinterpreted the rules you think maybe they're watching the may young classic and they're like hey if you know that chick can use her hair as a weapon yeah you know we should be able that, to get away with yeah, I, yeah. i'm a fan she was like whipping people with that. i really, that i learned cool. i learned what what constitutes as a disqualification because braun used them steps or a table and one can get you disqualified, but one cannot get you disqualified. Which I don't know why don't, he would have to know. use steps or a table because he's like a human table. Yeah. <laughs> Office chairs are his real <laughs> bread and butter. He's more. He's more like a human ship. You mean like a like, yacht? <laughs> it's a human yacht. What is that? He's the a human Braun yacht, Braun Strowman. He's boating. a navy battleship. <laughs> <laughs> they with land his... other ships on him. Yes. With his with his uh with with his new manager, Tugboat. Uh, yeah. Female name? Tugboat. Just, just by his real name. Fred Ottoman, isn't it? Is his Ottoman. First name Fred? Ottoman. Fred Ottoman. I think it's Brad. This Fred. changes everything. Because what it, it was Uncle Fred in one fed. And the shockmaster. I was trying to stay <laughs> away from that. <laughs> Wait, I was what? trying to Hey, I have Uh-oh. an action Drop figure the of the Shockmaster. Oh. Is it also sad? It's upside down. <laughs> have you not seen this? I think I have. I think I have. Anything about the shock master Mike, that what, isn't sad? Yeah, Mike, what did yeah. you, you learn? Yeah, that's true. I, it was not like the first episode of Edge and Christian that they tracked down the shock master to recreate the moment. That <laughs> to, makes me. To make it successful this time. Um, Mike, what did you learn? I learned that um, Dolph Ziggler hates fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not as much fun. Not as much as Enzo hates babies. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we were talking about that. How like like Enzo is like the worst person on earth because he's he, he he's uh shutting down the baby announcement for uh Ms. Enzo Bruce. like is irredeemable. <laughs> Enzo is irredeemable at this point. Um. Also, from the chat room at the chat room, people are fake wrestling is real. I think I think Wheels is just. 
quoting t-shirts at this point. Uh, he learned that Vince can uh, still take a beating. Dave learned that the fashion police jurisdiction goes across show lines. True. And apparently weight limits. Uh, Tina learned that... What's going on over there? Wait, wait, wait. wait what's, what's going on in the peanut Sorry, gallery over found here? A, uh, I found a Reddit, feed, a Reddit thread that has what could possibly... What was rumored to be the end of the Vince McMahon limo story. What line. would it have been? Tell me. It's a lot of non-wrestling. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> and like sure. Vince's real life brother Rod was going to show up. They're going to have a real funeral. Wait, he has a brother? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does. The dad of the forgotten <laughs> McMahon. And, uh, and they were going to have... The sad uh, forgotten McMahon. They were going to have Vince grow his hair, beard, and fingernails out for as long as he was going to be off TV. <laughs> and it was it involved Kennedy fighting Shane and and uh, Stephanie for control of the company because he was the illegitimate son. I did hear about that. And, uh, and then Vince is going to come back in Kennedy's corner. And, it's me, yeah, Austin. Still with the beard, I'd hope. <laughs> that, that's, that, would be the, uh, that would be the funniest part. Him with long hair, a beard, and long finger. Because well, yeah. like he, he was, would do it, too. And I feel like he would sell it and not be in public like Sandman when he was supposedly oh, blind, right? No. Yeah. Like, 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 like he would do it because he is that old school. They, he that. would bury somebody. Like he, they would go through the, like, oh, that's a body in there. He would buy a dead body. <laughs> and they would lower it down. Yeah, he would. He would get a cadaver. And Who are those people I killed in the eighties? Like, wait, where where did where did Paul London go? <laughs> <laughs> X Files theme was, starts. Was he the one that was laughing or something. Yeah, he was like smiling, <laughs> like real creepy. I was like, he's just gonna find one of those people that that he had off when he was bringing all the territories together in the eighties. Yeah. So, like some one of the lesser Ganyas, you know. <laughs> 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 the little known guy yeah, that didn't miss. Um, back, think, back to the chat. I didn't think Vince was 350 pounds. God, he weighs. Oh, oh, wow. What the hell? Like, Tina learned that it. Guy. Tina, Tina learned that it always doesn't pay to be gentlemanly anymore. I think some stuff happened with Jack Gallagher from uh, what I've seen in the chat. Um, Brandon learned that Aiden English and Elias Sampson can pull off a three-hour concert. I mean, I yeah, sure. I I'm with it. Won't say no. It's a, it's an interesting mix. Um, they should just start a super group. Uh, Strowman has cat-like reflexes after that suplex. Yes, it's like he powered up. Um, it's amazing. He thought no, no, that that's something else. Something about gym time. Oh, oh, bye, bye, Keith. He's going to the <laughs> bye, gym. Bye, Keith. There I you love go. you. A little emoji. Um, Twitch is going to be the next wrestling stream service, says Alex. And uh, John says, R oh, no, he's saying goodbye, too. <laughs> so uh, so thank you, everybody. Uh, oh, what did I learn? What did I learn? I had a good one. I had a bad one. I had a good one. The bad one was, Oops. please, please, your heel manager, please don't be handicapped. Because that's weird. There was a really awkward moment at RWA when I was editing. I oh, had a, my God. There was a match. And I'm just going to say, God bless J-Rock for doing everything he can. Um, so, and, and just, I never felt so bad about a match for a long, long time like that. But, Isn't that uh, the worst when it's like a sad cringe match? Yeah. I would give it up two times to J-Rock. He gives for, it up uh, for, so for much more than that. one time. <laughs> he gives it no, up many just, times. Uh, he was just a fucking professional in that thing. And it was a rough mm. situation. And I don't know what happened, but it was, it was really awkward. Poor J-Rock daddy. Uh, Yes, poor J Rock, Daddy. Um, I, I had something else and I can't remember it. Oh, everybody's got the fingers up. There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. J Rock, Daddy. Um, he's doing great things. Um, he's been. I know he's been around a good bit and doing some great things up in Cleveland too. So, um, so, so look up the J Rock. We used to watch the Cleveland Mafia. That's right. With our buddy uh, Raymond Rowe mm -hmm. oh. and J Rock, who's now killing it in Japan. Mm -hmm. Love like it's Ray crazy Rowe. as like a barbarian <laughs> Viking. Guy. Also, Warbeard, one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. He is. I I, I saw him, uh, filmed him. Uh, who did he wrestle? Matt Hardy at a that's ball awesome. field show a couple years ago. And and again, that was the first time I was got to. So cool. Other than like those couple of first matches of him with Ray Rowe in the Prospects tournament, I'm mm -hmm. just like, whoa, this guy's. A oh, he's big so guy. agile. It's he's ridiculous. amazing. I Absolutely amazing. So. All right, that's enough. Yeah, thank you, everybody, here coming this Tuesday night, as we have done for over 500 times, uh, celebrating pro wrestling with us. Thank you, Jinx, for joining us. Yes, absolutely. Where can people find you online? Um, I don't know. Give me a second. 
which one is which. I, I get they're both bloody adorable. But it's where the X My, is. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Well, it's like every time um, I, I'm looking for you on Facebook, I just type okay. in Jinx and the one that looks like you. That's true. Uh, my Facebook is actually slash wrestling's Jinx. My Instagram is bloody underscore adorable. And my Twitter is bloody X adorable. Confirmed. You guys get all that. There you go. Uh, Billy Johnson. Could, could you slow it down for me? <laughs> I, I, I just find you in my dreams. Can you sign my Twitter account? How much Can you, you sign my, my Twitter <laughs> account? How much, how much you hate Billy Johnson, he's at all the wrestling shows, basically. Yes. I, I, I go to a bunch of shows, yeah. Um, he does. I'm still torn between the IWC and Remix this Saturday, so I'm going to have to flip the coin. Probably go to a Remix because Jinx is going to be there. I'll be there. <laughs> 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 I wear a lot of gold. She, 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 you she do the reverse thing. Picture. Yeah. Can you cheer for me? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. Hey, that would be fun gimmick. <laughs> Just like super me character, like the reverse I, indie fan. Please yeah. don't boo me. Please don't boo me. I'm supposed to be the good guy. Please don't be scared. It, isn't isn't this just Bailey's character? Oh yeah, oh. man, Mike. <laughs> Mad yeah. Mike, Mike 4883 on the Twitter, and he uh, uh, is with me on the uh, Midweek War and the Raw Wrap-Up. Yeah, every we, week. We, got, we got a big one this week, Sorg. We got the 100th episode of Lucha Underground. Oh, yeah. oh. oh, I keep forgetting about that. Then I get excited because I forgot it. Um, I know. I Love know. me some Lucha Underground. Mm, I won't be so sad when it goes away. Uh, but anyway. Sorg, why, you know... I want to wrestle Brian Cage. What? I would love to see that. <laughs> what? Yeah, I want to wrestle Brian Cage. Is that your dream match right now? Yes. Okay. I'd be I think happy I would just love to see that. a handshake with Brian Cage. I <laughs> think he. I think it's logical for me to squash him. In the crazy world of Beach <laughs> Underground, uh, that would be logical. Do you, you get the gauntlet from him? Yes. And also. How much of your body has to fit in the gauntlet to use it? Because it's fucking huge. <laughs> you just wear it like some Iron Man thing. suit. Or... You should just hop in it and do a drop kick, and then boom. Now that would be brutal. Like, now your spear is a finisher. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine me spearing. If, if I speared Brian Cage, it would just be me hitting a wall. I wouldn't have to like sell you, it. It would just be. You, you would bounce cute. backwards like like Braun Strowman. My shoulder would break in five places, probably. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, Rob is usually ringside at IWC. Yeah, usually, yeah. <laughs> usually, yeah. It's, it's been a couple shows. Uh, sometimes you can see him on yeah. the TV on, on things like Outsiders. I, I Actually, I saw a friend, friend of the show, Shane, Shane in your face. Yeah. What got on uh, Outsiders. She was in some, because I haven't watched the second season. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it's on. You, don't, you only days. watch the episodes you're in, right? But he was on. Well, no, I mean, it's, I don't get WGN. <laughs> and oh, I keep okay. And I keep forgetting it's out on DVD. Yeah, I, had the same, I had the same feeling when I was on a public access uh, show and realized I didn't have cable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, you need TV for this, right? Yeah. Wait, like, oh, wait, I got to pay some. Play, oh, oh. But yeah, because Shane was like in some fight scenes or like in a, like there was an underground fight club or something like that. Mm -hmm. You mean he was all fight, no flight? Yeah, so, yeah, just like his uh, his his tattoo there says. Yes. Oh. And I know he had Type an audition cast. recently for Escape Plan Three. Oh. Huh. Which I didn't know. I don't think there's two a... is even out yet. Yeah, I was what? like, there's a second but it's, one. Uh, it's got like Stallone and Batista, and he's he got wow. an audition for a couple of speaking roles. Bless Batista. Nice. Uh, I love him. Chad the Shad does Chad the Shad things. Yeah, and you can find me at Chad the Shad pretty much on anything. I think I really cornered the market with that. That's good. That That's good. Nobody ad, else uh, nobody else is going for the fish gimmick these days. No, I, Ask I don't him about his petrified pizza. I didn't have to put any numbers after it or anything. So it was early days. It's Chad so the Shad on MySpace too. everything. There you go. Everything. On MySpace. Thank you, everybody, for joining us at WrestlingMamShow.com. Yeah. We're here every Tuesday live at WrestlingMamShow.com. Next week, we have Calvin Couture joining us on this, and we're going to do an interview for Indie Mayhem Show. And I think we're posting the Locked and Loaded interview on Indie Mayhem Show, so please subscribe to that everywhere you love podcasts. And we are, we did not ask them which one was locked and which one was loaded. We, we need to make today. a poll. Yeah, so make a poll. Which one? Again, Joan Jr. <laughs> Tori, how are you? Which one's locked? Which one's loaded? Um, we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. wait.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.